it's Kayla and I'm back with another video. Today we are starting off our weekend and I figured I would do a little weekend at home vlog. I really love watching weekend vlogs, especially when they're more chill and casual because that's what my weekends look 99% of the time. Obviously sometimes we go out, do fun things, but most of the time we're just chilling at home, living our best lives. And that's pretty much my plan for the weekend. I do want to get a little bit of work and YouTube stuff done just so my week is a little bit easier and not as stressful. But I'm not going to overwhelm myself and do too much, maybe just a few hours today, a few hours tomorrow, and it will just make my week a lot easier and lighter, which I love. Beyond that, we're really just going to chill and relax. I want to do a lot of reading this weekend. I also have some books to haul, so we'll do that at some point. And I don't know, I'm just ready for a nice relaxing weekend, and I thought I would take you along. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Kayla. I'm an author, social media manager, and personal assistant, and this is my life here on YouTube. During the week, we're normally pretty productive super go 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 but I like having some nice chill weekends to balance that so that's what we're doing this weekend if you're not new welcome back I think I'm going to grab my Kindle and either go lay out in the hammock outside or on the couch and just do some reading for a few hours I have a ton of different books I could read right now so I don't really know what I'm gonna read but I finished the last book that I was reading last night so I can either pick up one that I'm currently reading or start something new we'll see a lot of books that I could slash need to read so we'll pick something. I think that's it for now. Ready to just have a nice chill weekend at home. I've been sitting out here on the hammock reading for about an hour, maybe a little bit longer. I decided to pick up one of the books that I'm currently reading. I was like 50% of the way through, now I'm 67% through. I really want to try and finish this book up today. I have an hour and 48 minutes left, so I think we can do it. really just need to stay off my phone and actually sit and read, and we've been doing pretty good with that so far. This book is super angsty, and it's a duet, so I have another book after this to read for it, but I am loving it so far. I think I'm to take a quick break right now to eat lunch because I'm pretty hungry so I'm going to make something to eat and we'll keep reading. I do want to get a little bit of stuff done today at some point probably not until later. I'm gonna try and finish this book first and then we'll try and get some stuff done. That's my plan at least. We'll see how it goes. I really want to finish up this book because I've been reading it for a while even though I really like it. I've just had so many different books to get through so I want to sit down today finish this one and maybe start another one after that too. First let's get something to eat though and then we'll get back to reading. It's two o'clock right now. I ate lunch and did some more reading. I probably should try and be a little bit productive right now, but I really just wanna finish my book. So I'm going to chill, relax, keep reading. Maybe after that, I'll have some motivation to be productive, but I also might just push all of it off until tomorrow. I really don't have too much that I need to get done this weekend, just a few little things. So I could leave it to tomorrow, or maybe I'll get some motivation later on once I finish my book. But for now, I'm gonna go lay back on the couch, keep reading. I really want ice cream right now, but I should probably be good and not eat ice cream as an afternoon snack, but it just sounds really good. So we'll see, maybe I'll find a little bit of a healthier snack. Maybe I just need some juice. That might satisfy the craving a little bit. I just want something like sweet, sugary. I have a little bit of a headache. So maybe we'll grab some juice and see if that helps and keep reading my book. Hello guys, it is currently 5.24. I finished up the book I was reading a little while ago. The ending was absolutely insane. It left on a total cliffhanger. I'm gonna need to start book two really, really soon and see how it ends and like get the happily ever after. But unfortunately, I'm not gonna start that tonight because I have an arc that I need to read, one that I've been waiting to read. I've had my arc of the do-over, aka Miles High Club series book for for like several weeks now and I just have not had a chance to read it but now it's finally the time for me to start this one because I just cannot wait any longer and two because it comes out on Tuesday I think Wednesday Tuesday so I need to read it before then so I'm gonna start this tonight and then I'll get to book two of that duet hopefully sometime this week I really need to know what happens because that ending was mind-boggling at least I finally finished book one in that duet I'm still like eight books behind on my goodreads goal unfortunately I've just been in a bit of a reading slump the last few months. I don't even know if like reading slump is the right 
quite definition. Part of it has just been because I've been so busy, I haven't had a lot of time to read, and then when I go to read, I've just been struggling to like focus on books, even if I'm really, really liking it. My attention span is just non-existent right now. I think it's getting a little bit better. I think the main thing is I need to stay off my phone and like put my phone out somewhere else and read on my Kindle so that I can actually focus on a book. So thankfully, I was able to finish that book today finally, and I'm going to start the do-over now. I'm not sure how long it will take me to read. Normally, Tales Swan's books are pretty lengthy, but they're also pretty like quick light reads, so I hope it doesn't take me too long. Also, Brian is playing Pokemon Go today. Um, there's a community day, so I'm not sure what time he'll be back, but it's my turn to make dinner, so at some point I will have to take a break to make dinner, but I want to get as much reading done as possible. Probably not going to get anything productive done today, but that's okay. Reading is important, and I need a little bit of a mental health day, so that's what we're doing. Tomorrow we can be a little bit more productive and focused, but today is just going to be a reading day. I'm going to go back to the couch with my Kindle and get started with this book. It's time to finally dive in to the do-over. Hello vlog, it is 11 p.m. and the only thing I did today was read and I'm not mad about it. Told myself I was gonna try and get a little bit of stuff done today, but I really just needed a chill day to relax and read. I did at least post the TikToks that I needed to for my authors today, this morning, so those got up, and I have tomorrow still to be a little bit productive. I just wanna get myself a little bit ahead before going into the week, just to make my life a little bit less stressful and hectic during the week. But today, we just needed a chill, relaxed day to do nothing but read, and I can't believe how much reading I did. It's been a while since I've read this much in one day. The first book I was reading, I had like 50% of left for today, and I finished that, and then I also listened to like 25% of an audiobook while I was making dinner, and then I also started the do-over, and I'm like 40% into this. I really want to keep reading more, but I feel like if I get any farther into the book, I will want to stay up all night to read it, and unfortunately, we cannot do that, so I'm gonna make myself not read anymore and go to bed instead. Hopefully I can finish the rest of this book tomorrow. I do want to be productive though, so I'm going to have to balance it a little bit better tomorrow and not just read all day. But this book is really, really good so far. I'm at the part where he is a stupid, stupid man, and I'm hoping he redeems himself here. But I'm excited to continue reading this tomorrow, and I'm glad we just had a nice, chill, relaxed day today. Honestly, I love relaxing weekends at home with not that much going on. It's just so nice. It's 11 p.m. right now. I'm gonna try and sleep in until at least 7, 7.30, but we'll see because my body doesn't like to sleep in. So I'll probably set my alarm for 7, but I might wake up before that. Um, but if I sleep in until 7, then I'll sleep in until 7. And then we'll get up and start tackling stuff tomorrow. I need to make TikToks for my authors tomorrow. I need to get a little bit of PA work done and a little bit of stuff done for the last chapter and or edit a YouTube video. We'll see how much of that we get done. I don't need to accomplish all of it, but I would like to tackle some of it so we can get a head start to our Week. I'm gonna stop talking now and go to bed. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Hello vlog. Happy Sunday. It's a little bit before 10 a.m. and we're getting our Sunday going. I've been up for a while and I made my TikToks for today for all my authors so those are ready to go up. And then I just showered and we're about to make breakfast and coffee because I'm very hungry. After that I'm not 100% certain what I'm gonna do but I do need to do something productive whether it's some PA work, making my TikToks for tomorrow, editing a YouTube video. We need to do some productive things today so we don't have to leave it all for during the week but I also really just want to read my book because it's really really good and I want to know what happens so I think I'm gonna try and be productive for the next few hours so that later on this afternoon evening I can just read and maybe finish my book probably won't finish it because I think I still have quite a bit left but at least make significant progress on it but I'd rather get all my stuff out of the way now first and then be able to chill later on first I need food though because I'm very very hungry so let's go make breakfast make coffee and then we'll figure out what we're gonna do from there.
it's 11 30 right now we made breakfast had coffee and then i've been productive for the last little bit i got stuff done for the last chapter for like an hour i needed to make some graphics do some captioning so i got that done now i'm home by myself which feels really weird because i feel like i'm normally not home by myself there's normally always someone here but it's kind of nice to just be in the quiet and chill by myself for a little bit and i'm gonna try and get some more stuff done. I think I'm gonna work on my YouTube video next because I really would like to be ahead on that during this week so I don't have to stress about it. I'm gonna go grab my external hard drive and plug that in and work on editing my video. I think it's a shorter one. Hopefully I'm really not that much in the mood to edit but I really need to get it done so I'm ahead during the week and don't have to stress about it. I already got the stuff for the last chapter done and that is done for at least the next week so that feels really good. So I'd like to just continue to get ahead on things. Um, and then not have to stress about it during the week and even if those are like the only two things i get done today i'll feel really good just kidding i really would like to make my tiktoks for tomorrow as well but we still have a lot of time this afternoon so let's first try and get our youtube video done and out of the way and then we'll see if we get anything else done but i'm already feeling pretty good about what we've gotten done today and it's only 11 30. fml because when i went to go get my hard drive and was walking back to the couch i dropped it on the floor i was holding like the cords and it slipped and disconnected from this fell to the ground and now something inside of it is rattling and it won't connect to my computer so that's super fun i'm trying not to have like a total breakdown because you know it happens but i have so much footage on there i have so many photos on there that i'm pretty sure only on this hard drive so if i can't get any of that i'll just be really upset so i'm trying not to let it get to me but also it's really really frustrating i am assuming that there's not really anything i can do you can literally hear a piece rattling in it so that really sucks and now i don't have a video for tuesday to edit i'm probably gonna end up posting this video on tuesday because i don't have anything else filmed just whenever i almost get ahead on youtube videos something happens so that's really annoying um, I'm hoping I can do something or save this, but probably not. That's really a bummer. Um, I don't really know what else I'm going to do now. I guess I should make my TikToks for tomorrow, so at least those are done. But beyond that, there's not really anything else I can do because my YouTube video is the other main thing I wanted to get done today. And now we can't do that. So I'm just a little bit bummed and stressed now. Probably just going to go get my Kindle and read my book because that will probably put me in a better mood. And I might as well read my book if I can't edit my video. <laughs> I'm so annoy that was just like a buzzkill to my Sunday but I'm gonna try and not let it get me down because there's not really anything I can do about it now I'm gonna take a break for a little bit hopefully not cry and be upset about this and just let it be um but that's how my Sunday is going now been a few hours i am still pretty bummed about my hard drive but i'm trying not to let it get me down because i don't want to ruin my sunday and just like be upset about it but also it's incredibly frustrating and i don't want to have to buy a new one because they're so expensive but i need it for youtube and everything so i'll probably have to buy another one this week which kind of sucks and i lost all my footage for a video because i had already uploaded it to my hard drive and deleted it off my sd card so that's a bummer too but it is what it is we're going to move past it and I've had a pretty chill last few hours. I set up the two fantasy football leagues that I'm running with people from Bookstagram so that'll be really fun. The team names that everyone picked are spicy but they're so funny. Um, I'm just really excited to be doing fantasy football and all with book people. So I set those up a little while ago and then I have just been reading my book. My Kindle is still on the couch. I'm like over 50% of the book now. It is so good. I know there's going to be a plot twist because TL Swan always puts in a ginormous plot twist and I have not predicted or figured out what it is yet but I know it's gonna come so we're waiting for it. But I would take a quick little break from reading though and do a book club. I'd take a quick little break from reading though and do a book haul because I got a large package of books and I got some book PR this week so I thought I would show them. First we have The Duke's Rules of Engagement by Jennifer Haymore. This was from Entangled Publishing. I haven't read any historical romances so I'm excited to add this to my shelf and read that. Then I got three books from Zoe Blake. She sent me three books from her Dark Obsession series. Let me see if I can show them. We have Wicked Games, 
we have Sinister Games, and then we have Savage Games. So those are three books from Zoe Blade. It also came with a cute little tiara and a mug, and I think that was it in the box, but it was a cute little PR box. Then I also got Bittersweet Memories by Katharina Mora. Did I show this in a vlog? I might have shown this in my vlog the other day that got deleted, so I'll show it to you again. Those are all the books I got as PR in the last week or so. A bookmark just came out of one of them. I always love getting books in the mail. It just makes me so happy and even better when they're sent to me. And then my favorite author, Claire Kingsley, opened up her signed paperbacks in July while I was at Book Bonanza. So I was already spending a ridiculous amount of money on books that weekend, but I love her books so much. And I already own one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of her books and five of those are signed. So I figured I would just get some more. So I got two of her series. Let me pull them all out of this box and I'll show them to you. First up, I got the five books in the Miles Family series. We have Broken Miles, we have Forbidden Miles, we have Reckless Miles, Hidden Miles, which is my favorite book in the series, and then also Gaining Miles, and then all of these are signed as well, so that makes me so, so happy. Going to need to find room on my bookshelf for all of these, or make room, because it's already completely full, so we'll see how that goes later. And then I also got the Dirty Martini Running Club series. There is one more book in the series coming out early next year, but I got the three books that are already out. Faking Miss Wright by Claire Kingsley, another one of my favorites from her. This is a fake dating office romance. Then I also got Marrying Mr. Wrong and Falling for My Enemy. This series is so good, super funny. So I'm excited to find own all of these and the fact that they're signed just makes it even better. I think I'm gonna film a TikTok with all of these first before I try and put them on my shelf, but we will work on that later. It is currently 5.36. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Probably just read for the rest of the evening as much as I should be a little bit more productive. Oh, I do want to make the rest of my TikToks for tomorrow. I do have some of them done, but I'd like to work on the rest of them. Brian's gonna make dinner at some point. I think he's making salmon and then I'll have to do the dishes, um, but going to just have a pretty chill rest of my Sunday. I'm gonna go back to chilling on the couch. I need to drink some water. I feel so dehydrated um, and just enjoy the evening. Hello vlog. It is 10 p.m. and I just got into bed. Didn't do much else this evening besides read. I did make a few of my TikToks for tomorrow, so I'm happy about that. Breaking my hard drive really just put me in a funk and I was not happy about it, but I think we are over it. It is what it is. We're just gonna try and move on and tackle our day tomorrow without our hard drive and we will edit this video for Tuesday. I needed a few days to just lay down, read, decompress so I could get back after it during the week. I did get a little bit of stuff done today, so that is good. It will make my life a little bit easier during the week, but beyond that, the rest and relaxation time will definitely help me and benefit me during the week. For now, I'm going to do a little bit of reading before I head to bed. I am not going to finish my book today, but I did make some progress on it today and it's really, really good. So I'm going to read for probably 30 minutes to an hour. I want to go to bed before 11 because we're going to wake up early and go to the gym and start off our week. So I need to get a good night of sleep for the week ahead. That's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and leave any comments down below. That really supports my channel and helps my channel grow. And of course, if you're new, don't forget to stick around and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one.